La transformación ha comenzado y justamente a 100 años del inicio de la construcción de Los Ángeles Memorial Coliseum. El único recinto deportivo que ha albergado dos Juegos Olímpicos, los de 1932 y del 84, que fue testigo del primer Super Bowl de la historia y del 7 también, que recibió la Serie Mundial del 59, infinidad de partidos de fútbol soccer, sede de varios equipos y hoy casa de los USC Trojans. Los Ángeles Memorial Coliseum busca seguir creciendo su repertorio de recuerdos deportivos y culturales cuando abra sus puertas para The Bush Clash de la NASCAR Cup Series en 2022. It's just the best. When I walked in here today, I, I was blown away with with this racetrack that's coming together. We broke ground and uh, they're going to pave it and uh, have NASCAR Cup cars racing on a quarter mile track. That hasn't happened in years. And the new, the next gen car that we're having debut here at the Coliseum, it's going to be an amazing event. Un óvalo temporal de un cuarto de milla será construido aquí en el corazón de Los Ángeles para la carrera de exhibición el 6 de febrero. As you can see behind me, so what we have going in right now is about 9,000 cubic yards of fill material. That's the material that goes under the asphalt track itself. Uh, we've got about uh, roughly 14,000 square yards of asphalt to put down, which will come in right after we finish this work here, which we're getting very close to completion on our, on our sub-base and our fill. And then once we have the asphalt down, we'll put temporary walls in, temporary safer wall, um, catch fence around the track, and then it will look like a new to race track. Y ya que estamos en un recinto espectacular, el evento tenía que tener su toque especial. So there are no competitive pits on this track. It's a quarter mile track. The garage area is actually going to be outside the stadium in one of the parking lots, and the cars will come through the tunnel onto the track into the infield. So. From that perspective, it'll look different than a lot of racetracks. It's such a short track, it's a quarter mile track. So the uh, garage area is just like a like a traditional short track around the country. Are actually going to be staged outside the track itself. Además de ser la primera ocasión que The Bush Clash se lleve a cabo fuera del Daytona International Speedway, este evento nos permitirá ver por primera vez a los Next Gen Cars en un ambiente competitivo. I think it's a perfect track to to run the Next Gen car for the first time because aerodynamics won't matter much here. Uh, it's going to be more about rooting and gouging, pushing and shoving. Uh, so it's going to be a lot of intensity, a lot of, but they're going to learn what these cars like and don't like, and the drivers will be better prepared when they get to the to the Daytona and the, the Fontana come the end of March. Ser un evento de dos días que constará de sesiones de prácticas, carreras preliminares y clasificación de última oportunidad. Ya que está abierto para 40 participantes, pero solo 23, podrán disputar The Clash el domingo, que se correrá a 150 vueltas bajo las luces y el cual contará con un concierto previo de People. Kyle Busch fue el ganador de The Clash 2021 en Daytona y vendrá a Los Ángeles buscando defender su posición, pero ya veremos si el campeón reinante Kyle Larson se lo permite.